Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a reading list or a bookshelf to track the books that you are reading, that you have read or that you want to read in the future. Previously, I used Notion to track my books but since I switched to Obsidian and started the note taking journey, I wanted something that I had in my Notion to be in my Obsidian world so that I can make my workflow frictionless. So this is what I have achieved so far. I track books that I am reading, I track books that I have completed and I track books that I want to read. And as I complete reading books, I take notes on them and this can be directly accessed through the same reading list just like I have shown you here. So in this video, I'll show you how you can achieve this same uh, reading list in your world. We will be using three plugins, book search, data view and sortable to achieve a reading list that looks something like this. So let's begin our tutorial without any delay. Let's begin with our first step and that will be to download and install the plugin book search. So we'll go to Comte plugins and search for book search. And here is book search by NP Gone. What this book search plugin does is uh, searches the web for different metadata of the books that you want to track for. And once you have installed and enabled this plugin, click on hotkeys and uh, use a hotkey uh, to create a new book note. I have used Alt P here. I'll go to book search options and here is a new file location and you select the location that you want this book note to be stored in. All my book notes are stored in this reference folder and you can also use your own custom text to insert in front matter otherwise it sets the default front matter and here are some other text that i want i ins i have inserted in my book notes which you might not need i just close it now i have used the hotkey alt b so when i click on alt b it will search it will try to search for a new book book note path now when we go to editing mode here we have different options and what we will be using to track our books is this status option we have four status here first is to read and the second is reading the third is unfinished and the fourth is completed you can just write this or you can also use your own format that you want to use but uh, this will be used this will be used in the data view plugin so if you don't know much about data view plugin I suggest you using the same thing that I have used here and here are the start read date and finish read date you can read this book and uh, under here you can write the notes on this book so now we have created a book note and you can create many book uh, many book notes like this and let's say this is the one this is the book that I want to read I will put the status to to read like this now we will be using data view plugin to extract the notes book notes that we have and categorize them on the basis of different status so we'll need to go to Comte plugins again and browse and install data view from here i think i have lost the internet connection so i have already installed it so i'll show you from this option once you have installed and enable go to data view and enable these options enable javascript queries enable inline javascript queries and enable inline field highlighting once you have done all of that we'll create a new note here and this will be written as reading list or whatever you want uh, i think i already have reading list here so i'll just create a book shelf here let's add a heading to read to list all the books that we want to read we'll be using this data view code i will be providing this code in the description so you can just copy and paste it from there what this means is uh, use data view and create a table where the cover url is used as cover the author is used as author and the total pages are used as pages and category as category and all these files are only extracted from notes that have hashtag book so this is the indest indestructible uh, book and here you can see the yml front matter we have author near isle and julie ei julie lee ei and you can see here pages we have used total pages as pages and category as category and this cover url is, will be used as cover url in our preview mode and this status here where it contains status comma uh, these brackets and to read if we click on preview mode 
this will open something like this there are so many books uh, in this because it is also showing off showing me all the books that i have in my obsidian vault if you want to see in the in this track table maybe it's here and i i already showed you i have lost my internet connection right now so it's not showing the cover url and cover url is only shown when you have when you have internet connection so you will need that internet connection to show this cover page this we have here is a to read list of books but if we want to if we also want to list the books that we have already read we will use a heading completed and use this uh, copy the same code from to read copy it and paste it here and where contains we will use here completed and this will list all the books that have the same uh, that have similar type of metadata but where status is completed so once we have completed our book, uh, this to, to read becomes completed. And if I go to preview mode, it will list uh, all the books that I have already completed, just like this. So we have finished the first two steps. Now we will use a third plugin called Sortable. You can download and install this Sortable plugin from Comte Plugins. The Sortable plugin can be used to sort books on the basis of different options, such as I can sort the books by pages. I can sort this easily like this. This is done by using sortable plugin. Now you might be saying, uh, why is this a reading list or a bookshelf not like the one that I have showed you in the beginning of this video? It's because we are not using minimal theme. The format that I showed you in the beginning of video can only be achieved by using minimal theme. So we'll go to settings and sorry, we'll go to appearance and themes and we'll use minimal theme here and still we do not have that uh, same format for that we will need to use a custom css we will use a custom css here write three dots css class and use cards and close this front matter and if you go to preview mode you will see just like this you have a reading list on your obsidian board and once you have read a book you can make its status completed and write notes on it and store on your obsidian board so this is how you create a reading list or bookshelf in obsidian easily so this is how you create a bookshelf or a reading list or a book tracker in obsidian easily if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss future videos on obsidian from me thank you